A and IS level mathematics. Lesson 30, Trigonometry, Part 2. We're going to be looking at radians and degrees, finding the length of an arc using radians, find the area of a sector using radians, find the area of a triangle, find the area of a segment using radians, and the right angle triangle, degrees or radians. So let's start off with this. Measure the length of this line. Well, you've got several choices. You could measure it in centimetres. You could measure it in millimetres. You could get yourself an old wooden ruler and measure it in inches. So there are several ways you could measure the length of a line and several different units that you could use to measure a line. An angle. What about measuring this angle? We could measure this angle in degrees. But we could also measure an angle in radians. And that's what we're going to be looking at. Radians is another way of measuring an angle. So let's start with looking at the connection between radians and degrees. And the way we do that is to consider one revolution. If we rotated this one complete revolution, that would be 360 degrees. Or 2 pi radians. In other words, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. Now if we use the calculator to work out what 2 multiplied pi pi was, we get a decimal, which in fact can't be worked out. So one could argue that it's not as exact as measuring degrees. But I can assure you, working with radians can be useful. So let's have a look at comparisons. Express the following in radians. So the only thing we actually need to remember is that 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians. Don't just put an R, that looks like radius. It's not the same thing. 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. Therefore, 180 degree must be 1 pi radians. What about 60 degrees? Well, that's a third of 180 degrees. So that's pi over 3, or a third pi radians. About 45 degrees. Well, 45 degrees, a half of 180 is 90, so a quarter of 180 is 45. So 45 degrees is pi over 4, or if you prefer, a quarter pi radians. 90 degrees, as I've just said, is half of 180, so it's a half of pi radians. 270 degrees will be 390s, so we can write that as that many radians. But the only thing I need to remember is this one. All of the rest we can work out from that if we need to. We can also do the conversion round the other way. Express the following in radians. So what we need to remember is that 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. If I divide both sides of this by 360, I would find out that 1 degree equals 2 pi over 360 radians. 
Therefore, by using this piece of information and manipulating like that, I can work at any number of degrees. So 72 degrees would be 72 multiplied by radians. Now, if we use the calculator, 72 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi divided by 360, we'd find out that 72 degrees is 1.25663701 etc. radians. So to two decimal places. And if we want to know this 164, then we'd work out 164 multiplied by with the calculator. And converting radians to degrees. Well all we need to know is that this many degrees is this many radians. All round the other way this many radians is this many degrees. So if we divide both sides by 2 pi we find out what one radian is. Therefore we can work out any number of radians. So pi over 3 radians would be 5 cancels, 2 3's are 6, 6 into 360 goes 60 degrees. So similarly I could work out how many degrees there. Now we find why it's important that we should always use a degree sign if it is degrees. Let's move on to finding the length of an arc using radians. Now in fact this is so simple as to be rather unbelievable and it's easily forgotten because it's so simple. Finding the length of an arc using radians. And this is all you've got to learn. Length of an arc using radians is this formula. Where r is the radius of the circle. And theta is the size of the angle as long as it's measured in radians. So the length of this arc, PQ... is the radius of circle multiplied by the angle measured in radians. 7.4 multiplied by 2.1. I often feel that it's such a simple formula, people just don't believe that it's as simple as that. But it really is.